Right, I've got an excellent new digital Vanya that's just come out and it's the Shahi waterproof IP54 0-200mm stainless steel electronic digital Vanya caliper. And when you get it, it comes in this nice heavy duty strong plastic box. The box cover and the actual Vanya is in this clip bag with some silica gel to keep it damp free. It comes with the instructions which are in Chinese but you don't need those because it's all self-explanatory and the test certificate to show that it's passed the inspection. It also comes with two batteries and these batteries are the lithium battery CR2032 3 volt batteries. The Vernier only takes one battery so you have one spare and in the specifications on the site they say that battery lasts about a year. Also it has a specially made key to open the battery compartment. And I actually got this Vernier not only because it's a really good make and good high quality, I actually got it because it is waterproof. I can actually use it in my workshop now without any fear of getting coolant on it and giving a false reading or even getting into the electronics and ruining it. So the model number of this Vernier is the 5100-200 and it's made of stainless steel, hardened stainless steel and a higher quality glass fixed grid which is stable durable with high accuracy and that's another thing that I actually like about the Vernier is the new colouring this uh, black grid with the orange and uh, white or silver um, numbers there it all stands out really nice and clear and the Vernier has a really nice rugged feel about it So to take the battery compartment off, always use the plastic key that came with the Vernia. This saves damaging the slot here, which a coin may do. And also when I get lovely equipment like this, I always bring it indoors to do a battery change. And I'll show you why when I take the battery cover off. Underneath, there's a very fine or thin gray O-ring and if you do the battery change in the workshop, there's a high possibility of actually losing that one. So to actually get the battery out, just take great care, put a very thin ruler in the gap there, just to loosen the battery and tip it out. And then when you put the battery in, put it in from the lower side of the vernia, up against the spring there, and push it down and then make sure that the o-ring sits in the groove on the vernia don't put it on the actual cover it's best to put it in this groove here like this and then if you remember the angle that you took the cover off put it back on like that and you can feel that it sat down nicely on that o-ring first nice and flat before turning the battery compartment into its locked position. So if you always do it nice and carefully like I've just shown, it'll always um, remain waterproof. And you can give that O-ring a very light coating of clear, high quality silicon grease. The Vernier has an on off button here, the inches and millimeter button at the top, and a zero button on the right hand side here. It will also turn on as soon as there's movement of the caliper.
And if the caliper is not used for a period of just over five minutes, it will actually turn the display off to save battery power. Plus, if it turns itself off or you turn it off when it's in use, it will always retain the actual reading where it was before. And as soon as you turn it on or move the caliper, it will show that reading and continue from there so you don't have to keep re-zeroing it. On the top of the vernier here you have a soft rubber cover and the USB interface so you can connect it to a printer or computer. And the cover is a nice fit and pushes back in place really well. Another nice feature that this vernier has is this metal data plate on the back here with a conversion table from inches into millimetre. Plus it has a nice size metal thumb wheel here and locking screw and both of these have been knurled really well. And I actually mainly work in Imperial. This is an inch diameter ball bearing and it's absolutely spot on. So I'm really pleased with this vernier. I love the actual rugged build of it. I love the fact that it's waterproof and I can actually use it in the workshop without um, fear of getting coolant on it and uh, giving false readings. And I think it's absolutely brilliantly made of the best quality materials. And in my 30 years of experience in the aerospace industry, I have used all different makes of verniers top Japanese ones and others and to me this is just as good as any that I've owned or used. And when I actually saw the price that they sell it for I wouldn't actually consider buying anything else.